Yo guys, what's going on? It's Dub here. Today, I wanted to make a video to show how to use my new editing pack since some people have questions how to import it or use it inside of DaVinci, as well as how to make your own presets if you want to share whatever you've made to other people. So I'm going to be showing how to do that today. So first of all, I'm going to show how to download my editing pack and how to use it. So First of all, what you're going to want to do, go to the description of any of my videos and join the Discord server. And once you're in the Discord server, you're just going to want to go and verify yourself. And then once you verify, you should have access to all the channels. So once you have access to all the channels, just go down to resources, double five packs, and here will be any editing packs or any packs I make for DaVinci. So what you're going to want to do is just hit the download button and then save this. You may get a pop up that says it might be dangerous, but that's because Discord will always warn you about zip files and it's nothing to be worried about. So just click continue to download. Once you have clicked that, you'll get a pop up in your browser to download the file as a zip and it'll look something like this, but with all your files. So you're just going to want to save it wherever you want. And then I'll show you how to use it after that. All right, guys. So as you can see, I have saved my editing pack to my desktop right here, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to unzip it so that you can use it inside of DaVinci or for whatever you want to use it for. So as you can see, if you right click it, there will be an extract alt button. This will let you extract all the files inside into a new folder. And if you know how to use 7-Zip or WinRAR, you can just do it that way with the other options that come up. But if you do not have that, just click Extract All. After you finish the extracting process, you should get a new unzipped folder that looks something like this wherever you chose to extract it to. And it'll also open a new window if you had that option selected. So opening it up, as you can see right here, I have the Dubify 1K pack, which is unzipped in that new folder that I showed you. So you just have to open it. And here you will have all of the presets that I showed in my video, plus the project file right here, as well as all of the SFX right here and the two shakes. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to use these now inside of DaVinci. All right, so we're back in DaVinci, and now you're going to want to pick what you're going to be using these presets on, whether that be a adjustment clip, a fusion comp, or actually just on your clip. So go into fusion with that clip by right clicking, going open in fusion. And now you're going to want to open my editing pack or wherever you have your presets saved and drag something in. So for example, I'm going to drag in a LUT. So if I drag that in, so as you can see, it imports as a file LUT node. So you're just going to want to drag that into your node tree. And as you can see, it just works and adds the LUT on your footage. I'm going to use another one right here, as you can see, for an example, this is the cold blue. And there you go. I'm going to also show an example with a one framer. So if I drag in my color on my edges, so just drag that in, connect it up. And as you can see, it adds the glitch right there. And this also works for the SFX, but you can just do that in the edit page or Fairlight. The project file just opens up a whole new project inside of DaVinci. And you can also do that with the shakes. So this is the X shake right here. If I add that in, it adds as a transform node. Or if I add the Y shake, it adds as a camera shake right here. And that's basically it for how to use my editing pack inside of DaVinci Resolve. And now I'm just going to be showing off how to make your own presets very easy and simply. What you're going to want to do is find or have whatever you want to make a preset. So for example, I'll use the text node right here and I'll just name it something in the inspector. I'll call it preset. Okay. And now that you have your nodes on the node tree, what you're going to want to do is just highlight them, right click go to settings, save as. You'll click save as and it'll open a file explorer. You just want to name it whatever and it will save as a dot setting file. And you'll be able to do the same thing as what I showed with my editing pack presets. And that's basically it. There are other ways to do it with macros and to use installer files like DRFX and Lua, but that's a whole video for a different day. And this is just a quick and easy way to do it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to see more adventure self tutorials and editing content, please subscribe and like. It would help me a lot. And I will see you guys next time. Later.